Cherry blossoms. Yeah. I take it you're not a fan? No. They make me sick. I knew Johnson's team was working on some fancy pants new reception area. But Jesus. When I get my hands on that candy ass, he'll be lucky if he can even carry his box of shit out of the building. <laughs> Is it really so horrible? They're only trees. They go from full blossom to bare in a week. One fucking week. Everywhere in DC you hear, oh, it's so fleeting and beautiful. Pathetic. What do you think? <sighs> nature is just nature. Not beautiful, not ugly. The wind blows, the flowers float away. It's simply how things are. <laughs> In any case, Minuano should be close. Minuano, the cool Brazilian wind. Mm. AKA Jetstream Sam. you think you're doing, buddy? Well, what do we have here? Oh. This? Hmm. So Sam is a really neat character to play as. He has a lot more stuff to do than Blade Wolf does, and he plays way differently from Raiden. Um, the best thing is, he's just really chill when you walk around as Sam. Yeah, I, I can imagine just walking through the streets, checking out honeys with that stride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the one. That is a honey checking stride. There's no gameplay reason for it, but you can click in the left stick to manually uh, sheath and unsheath your sword. He doesn't do anything. It's just neat. <laughs> also, uh, Sam's DLC is probably the hardest part of the game because of his play style. Uh huh. I think part of it might just because a lot of people probably try to play it as Ryan and that does not work. Like that's all. That's all he's got for a weak attack. Ryan's is infinite and his ends really quickly, and he has no heavy combos. That's all he's got for a heavy attack. Wow. But you can okay. end that four hit weak combo anytime in the first three hits you can get a different type of finisher with the strong attack um the neat thing with sam strong tech though is he's got a gun sheath yeah. so any strong attack he has he can charge up and it changes how the attack works um all the charged up ones do more damage but like with the weak attack finishers now you have like a charged up launcher um area of effect attack and a weird one where it's long range Oh! You fire like sword projectile slashes, um, and you also have the same type of dash in the air. Whoa! Hey, hey now, put that away, buddy. I'm gonna fuck <laughs> your eye out. Uh, the, his ninja run attacks make him stop, so he's less mobile than Raiden is. Uh, one good thing about Sam, though, uh, is he's really good at dodging. 
Mm-hmm. Like, Ryan's is a slow thing with attack. Sam, uh, he just kind of flips out, and he just goes <laughs> all over the place. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Yeah, no attack with this dodge, but it's super fast, and almost the entire thing is... Uh, it has invincibility frames. It's great. Also, Sam isn't a cyborg yet, so he doesn't have AR vision. Instead, up on the D-pad uh, is a taunt. <laughs> So what is taunting do for you? Taunting, any enemy that is taunted makes them really mad. Um, it makes them attack more often, sometimes faster. It like doubles or triples the amount of damage they do, but it also uh, doubles or triples the amount of damage they take. Ah. Uh, so all of Sam's attacks are a little on the weaker side, except for his charged attacks. But the uh, best way to take enemies out is to taunt them and then find places to hit them with charged up attacks. So, uh, why is Sam in the sewers of, uh, of Central America? Well, this is reused assets. Okay. It's supposed to be Denver, but, uh... Oh, re really? Yeah. They, they had the same <laughs> urban planner there? Yeah. Also, Sam has a double jump and an air dash. But, but he's not enhanced. He's just that good. He's just really good at jumping off air and also dashing midair. Um... So, a lot of the areas in Sam's DLC reuse assets, but they're new layouts, at least. As uh -huh. opposed to Blade Wolf, which was all reuse levels. Also, Sam he's... can't stealth kill at all. He doesn't give a shit about stealth. But he's got an affinity for spines. Yeah. Just for fun, I guess. Yeah. Well, he's got a exosuit thing. Maybe it's got I guess. four batteries. Maybe he just likes crushing the spines. He was laughing when he crushed <laughs> that spine. He laughs about a lot of things. <laughs> oh, um, for his double jump, the weak attack is different on each jump. Like, the first one launches guys, the second one throws guys downwards. He's only got one attack per jump, though, so... Oh, alright. Like, we launch this dude... In blade mode, you can still charge up your slices. Why? Uh, it makes it so that you don't have to actually hit the box to expose the spine. Hit him with the charge up attack, and the spine just immediately pops out. That's nice. Yep. Maybe it's that his sword needs spine juice. Maybe. Because all of the uh, animations would support that. Yeah. Well, what do we have here? Maybe I should give it a try. I do enjoy the video juego. <laughs> Fortunately, he doesn't have a cute animation for typing like Blade Wolf does. No. <laughs> Checking body status. Saddlebags. <laughs> so Sam's parry counter isn't as good. The timing is tighter, and when he's parrying, he holds his sword up for a lot less time than <laughs> Ryan does. Uh, so you have to parry a lot later into an attack. Oh, okay. That's got to take some getting used to. This attack here... Um, Sam's DLC changes how some of the enemy AI works. So, like, with that oh. attack there, as Ryan, it was really easy to just run away and bait geckos into running into you so you could parry them. Right. With Sam, sometimes they'll run at you like this and instead jump over you and kick you from behind. <laughs> um, what a jerk. Yeah, geckos are kind of really hard as Sam because they up their attack frequency a lot, and that's even before you taunt them. Which is why it's nice. kind of... You don't want to taunt more than one gecko at a time. I like that even uh, unfeeling, unthinking UGs can get, get taunted. Yeah. Because Sam is just that smarmy. <laughs> I don't know what it is about taunts, but having a taunt move in a video game is always incredibly fun. It's, it's empowerment. You get to be the cool kind of asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, instead of the regular kind you are the rest of your time. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Magic chest. 
I don't know, his chest isn't that great. It's an okay chest. <laughs> but seriously, is he keeping something in those? Are, are they just big bulging cargo pants pockets? They might be. Greetings, Samurai. Basically, state your business here. Me? Oh, just sharpening my skills. Wandering the earth, dispensing justice, but only to those who deserve it. Such as outlaws, desperados. You refer to World Marshal. <laughs> the ones holding your leash, right? The ones who issue my orders. And your orders are to kill me? Yes. <laughs> Call me biased. But those seem like pretty dumb orders, Pop. Why don't you try thinking for yourself? For myself. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. Well, that's a pity. I am sorry. You must die. Then... I am sorry. As well. You will die. <laughs> So, not only have some of the normal enemies been changed AI-wise, all the bosses have as well. So, Blade Wolf goes from being pretty easy with Ryan to being kind of a really fucking hard. <laughs> um, they changed up, like, that attack right there. He has almost no charge-up time for that now. He just jumps on you. Damn. Um, he also does nothing but attack all the time. He never- if he's not attacking, it's because he's running away really fast. Like, so you just throw knives one after another. Well, it seems like a much better strategy from his point of view. Yeah. I don't know why. So, What's his deal when he's fighting right? Come on, man. Well, as right, I didn't show one weakness Blade Wolf has, and it's right there. If Blade Wolf gets hit in the air by any attack, no matter how strong it is, it instantly knocks him over and stuns him for a second. Oh, nice. And it's a lot more useful when you're Sam, because it's harder to find points to charge up against Blade Wolf. Uh, but speaking of that, go back to the beginning. Uh -huh. You'll see uh, how powerful Sam's taunt is. Uh, also, when you're fighting bosses, Sam has unique things to say if you taunt for a really long time. Like right yeah. here, he's got one for Blade Wolf. <laughs> but yeah, once you taunt Blade Wolf and exploit, like, knocking him out of the air, you can wreck- like, look at his health bar go. Dang. Yeah. Blade Wolf's done. I'll say. You fight because you're forced to. I fight because I choose to. My design is flawed. Now, now. I am quite good, you know. But... But... Uh... <sighs> Ta-da! Hooray! And when Blade Wolf blows up, he leaves a health upgrade. Man, Blade Wolf has exploded twice in his life. 
Blade Wolf gets no respect. Yeah. Oh, this DLC is like two years before Metal Gear Rising. Oh, oh, okay. That explains some things. Yeah, like why Sam doesn't have a big cyber arm yet. And why Blade Wolf is like, yeah, I rolled with that guy. He was my bro. Yeah. I really like the Zondance animation right here. Because <laughs> he just smirks right at the camera. And this is that little head jiggle that just seals it. <laughs> That's the best. Sam is just having way too much fun. Yeah. Shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> So even though Sam doesn't have any stealth kills, he can use, like, the cardboard box and the barrel and all that. Um, it's nice. Nothing different about it, and it's not particularly useful with Sam, because, I mean, you could try and sneak with the box, or you could just do this. <laughs> with that charge just attack, you can ever. also make him charge. You don't just go forwards, you can change the direction of it, even, like, halfway through your Ooh, charge. Hey, yeah. Which is good for avoiding attacks, because... Well, I mean, avoiding if you've already started charging up, because a fair amount of the enemies have their attacks changed up so that they will attack right when they're about to hit you with a charge or something. Those jerks! At last, our hero reaches the castle. Hello. You can also Aww. parry out of that charge, but you know, since his timing is harder, it's still a little difficult to do. Look, I don't know why you gotta interrupt this robot soccer game <laughs> just because you're the ball or whatever. That doesn't seem like a good reason. <laughs> oh, it's like a noodle. Yeah. Seriously, who installed these and thought they'd be effective? I know. That's horrible. No, rock in my face. Oh, several of, um... I missed that. The aerial charge attack can home in a little bit if a dude's above or below you, but not too much. Okay. Um, but, like, this stinger here and the charged up launch attack he has are unblockable. It will nice. launch dudes. As long as they're not too heavy for it or something. This man's just oh, a dear. torso. Oh dear. I don't know how oh. he's wiggling. <laughs> he's still trying to get you. I know. That guy would totally deserve a raise if he wasn't dead. <laughs> he tried really hard. Really hard. I was hoping for an EM grenade because there are still a couple hidden fights. There aren't too many. Like this one. Though. Kind of just want an EM grenade just because it's one of those annoying little striders and they always nick yeah. with bullets. But whatever. Well, that's the end of that. Yep. Oh, wait! So I was hoping, because, like, if you look at the move list, Sam's charge attacks are just all called Quick Draw, which is a move Ryan has. I tested that out there, but it doesn't do what Ryan's Quick Draw does. I was hoping oh. if he charged it up, it would also have, like, the physics thing. Since I already chopped that dude up, I was hoping his body parts would just fly everywhere, but... You can't always get what you want. No. Just what I was looking for. Crates. An elevator? Oh, yes, okay. shipping crates. <laughs> Finally. My life is complete. Is bare and and functional, fitting for a samurai such as myself. <laughs> I just have to put like a, a framed haiku on the wall. It will be Spartan yet artful. <laughs> I like how he pries the spines out by, like, putting his foot on them. Yeah. 
Also, like, Sam's weak attacks are weak enough that it takes more than four hits to kill one of these guys. So it's better to either go with, like, that area of effect charge attack or just taunt them, because then you can just yes. poke them once and they blow oh, up. I, I can only imagine what an angry gecko looks like. <laughs> Well, that guy just called me, they say in their squeaky, clappy language. Mm -hmm. Whoop. Oh, look, it's reinforcements. Yes. Uh, raptors are one of enemies that aren't changed up too much. Also, there's a man with a rocket, like, right above me. Mm -hmm. It just keeps pecking me. Um... Raptors are pretty much the same, for the most part. Uh, raptors and, like, Mastiffs are the two enemies that don't behave any differently, really. You know what I'd really like to see out of this DLC? What? A scene where Sam makes guacamole. <laughs> I would love that. Is he just making the guacamole, or is he, like, hosting his own YouTube cooking show? Explaining how to make guacamole. You know, either way. Okay. It's all good. Because I just would like to hear Sam narrate it. I just want to see his incredible uh, avocado slicing and pit removal procedures. Right. Just Ta hanging out. Oh, they should have totally added, like, a little animation you get for S ranking where he just points next to him and goes, eh? <laughs> Yeah, Look at that! Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's ask for Sam <laughs> and Samurai. Oh man, what if there was a wind called the Urai? Mm. You know they would have gone there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're just holding that back for the g next game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'll write that down on our ide ideas whiteboard. This is a weird VR mission because you're just on a floating cube and there's no invisible mm -hmm. walls. Uh, so it's more about knocking guys off and killing them. That's pretty great. I kind of so like the idea. You're more or less playing Smash Brothers. Yes. Because it's. Oh. Because you can also get knocked off, but it's fairly easy to recover because you have a double jump mm -hmm. and an air dash. And even if you're still not on it, if there's a dude near you, you can use your charge up tech to home in on him. Nice. This is kind of a difficult one to S rank, though. Um, not so much for these dudes, even if you can't get them near the edge. Um, it's because there's multiple waves, and the final wave is kind of a bitch to fight. Of course it is. Yeah. That's why it's final one. What are you thinking? Also, strangely enough, I showed that Ryan, if like those long sword dudes, if you uh, attack their sword in blade mode while they were blocking, it would daze them. That doesn't happen when you're Sam for some reason. Huh. Okay. I don't know if that was a plan choice or if it just is a bug. Anyways, this is the final wave, which is why it's so fucking annoying, is because it's a whole bunch of sliders uh, that will run into you off camera. Which they usually don't do. Um, and also they like to sometimes float off the edge of the place and try to bait oh, you into just jumping that's just off. Oh, rude. And yeah. now it's breakdancing, which yeah. is really distracting you and interrupting your groove. Yep. Because you want to check that out. It's only natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Locking on two sliders when they're right above you is one of the things the camera doesn't like so much. It'd be, nice, it'd be neat if they took the time to fix that yeah, in the PC go. release. Fix the camera. Just stick in Bayonetta's camera. That worked way better. It wasn't perfect, but it was a lot better than Rising's, at least. It didn't, it didn't have an inversion to walls and corners. <laughs> well, anyhow, that's, that's uh, Sam's... Uh, messing around time. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how he keeps focused. 15 minutes of work, 5 minutes of break. <laughs> Welcome to Denver! I 
a monsoon. We've been expecting you, Sam. Oh? They say you took on a drug cartel back in Brazil all by yourself. Almost took it down, too. <laughs> if you had, another outfit would have taken its place. One way or another, it always goes back to business as usual. You realized that, didn't you, Sam? That's why you left. I was out for revenge. And I got it. Well then. Let's see what you got now. So Ray's been changed up as well. He's way faster. He links his attacks together into combos now. Oh, okay, that's good. He's, he uses melee attacks way more often, like that arm swipe. He, I'm pretty sure he didn't even do it in my recording. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, he'll use a lot more melee attacks now. Um, he doesn't stay in place as much if you try to get close to his legs. Because like when you, as Ryan, you could just kind of go after his legs and take out most of his health. Right. And that's not viable with Sam because Mel Ray will like dance around a lot and you'll never real, real be able to hit his legs that much. He's a dancing fool. Yeah. So with Sam it's better to wait until you can get like one kind of attack that will put knock Ray out for a little bit. Like this Nope, not this. All you can do is parry that. No parry counters with Ray. His bite attack, he does multiple times in a row now. Parry the last one, knocks him out. It's a really good time to taunt him. Because he won't actually respond? Yeah. You taunt cheeser, you. <laughs> uh, also, like, taking out the armor on his head sets you up, puts you in the air so you can charge attack him again right away. Because <laughs> he can just kind of home in on his head. That's pretty nice. Yep. Like, you can knock Ray out one other way, um, because he'll try to stomp on you, just like with Ryan, but you tried that as Ryan, and you stomped him, you could immediately go to cut his armor off, and instead, uh, parrying his stomp just makes him fall over for a bit. Get a load of this, yeah. His eyes yeah. are basically looking right at the S. Well done, <laughs> Sam. But you haven't quite passed the test yet. Come on up to the top floor. It'd be a shame if we didn't meet after you went to all this trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 